Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we will be making this I just don't care for 20 bear and he is what I consider a no sew body pattern which means we start by making the arms and the legs and then we move on to the head and as we get down to the bottom of the head we'll attach the arms as we go move on to the body attach the legs and then we'll finish close him up and have his eyes on there. And then we will have to sew his nose, his ears, his eyelids if you choose to make them, and then his little tummy patch. For this video, I am using a number four medium weight yarn, a 4.25 millimeter hook. And for the eyes, I just took some of these clear 18 millimeter safety eyes that come with that little ring and then all I did was I used a felt marker to draw little red lines and then I painted the back um, just with white nail polish. And I do have a video for that. I will link down in the description if you need to see how I did that. This is a crochet along so I will be doing every stitch with you and I am also providing a drop down at the top of the screen with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of every row to, for you to follow along with. And if you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button and click that bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video, as well as any likes, shares, and comments are always appreciated. Okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. Okay, we are going to start with the arms and you can begin any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I will be doing a knot with the loop on the end as if we were going to make a chain and I'll just insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. And remember that does not count as a stitch that just attaches our yarn to our loop and for row one we are going to do six single crochets into the loop one two three four five Grab a stitch marker if you're using one and for row two we are going to do six increases so that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. Oops. So increase one and two increase three and four increase five and six increase seven and eight increase nine and ten and our last increase eleven and twelve Row three, we are going to do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one single crochet and an increase for two and three. And just repeat that around. Four, increase, five and six, seven, Increase eight and nine. 
10, increase, 11, and 12. 13, increase, 14, and 15. 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we are just gonna do 18 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Row five, we are gonna do 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Row six, we are gonna start off with two single crochets then we're gonna do what I call a puff stitch of four. And then we're gonna have 15 single crochets to finish off the round for a total of 18. So two single crochets, one, two. And for the puff stitch, all we're gonna do is yarn over, go in the next stitch, grab our yarn and pull up. So that's once. Yarn over again, go in that same stitch, grab your yarn and pull up, that's twice. Yarn over, go in that same stitch, grab your yarn and pull up, that's three times. And one more time, yarn over, in that same stitch, grab your yarn and pull up. So we've done that four times. Now we're gonna grab our working yarn and we're gonna go through all of those loops. And if you happen, to um, get stuck and miss a loop, it's a lot easier to just go back and start fresh than to try and figure out what you did. And believe me, I've done that many times. And now we're gonna do 15 single crochets to finish off the round. You may have to push that out and pull your um, yarn a little bit right here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15. Row seven, we're gonna do four single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 15. So one, two, three, and make sure you're going in the right stitches here, four, and then a decrease or five. And you'll notice I usually do a regular decrease. You can always do an invisible one if you prefer to do invisible. So our next 
repeat of the pattern is six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for 10. And repeat that again, 11, 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15. Row eight, we are just gonna do 15 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Row nine, we are gonna do three single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, two, three, and a decrease for four. And then just repeat that same pattern, six, or sorry, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, 10, 11, and a decrease for 12. Rows 10, to 16 are just gonna be 12 single crochets all the way around, and that's seven rows, but I'm gonna do those consecutively. So um, 12 times seven is 84. So I'm gonna do 84 single crochets and flip my marker every time I hit a set of 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So I'm flipping my marker, but I'm gonna keep on counting. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, flipping my marker, but I'm gonna keep on counting, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, flipping my marker, keep on counting. 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 49, 50, 
50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Row 17, we are going to do four single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 10. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten. And now we're just going to remove our hook for the time being so we can stuff our arm. And I'm going to remove my stitch marker as well. So you're going to grab a fair amount of stuffing and I'm going to divide mine in half and I'm going to put hopefully half of this in the hand and then half of it up the arm because um, we want to have the arm or sorry the hand on the firmer side and then the arm not quite as firm so we're just going to push that down in the bottom kind of making it a little bit on the rounder side and then this actually might be a little much so i'm going to and divide it in half first and then see if I need more. Actually, yeah, that's going to be more than enough. So our hand is fairly firm and then our arm part is, you know, fairly squishy. So the least amount of stuffing, um, your arm will lay more flat. And then if you fill this right up, it's going to want to stick out. So up to you on how much stuffing you want to put in. When you're happy with the amount of stuffing, we're going to close it up. And all we're going to do is put four single crochets across. So we're going to start by putting our needle in the next stitch and then the last stitch. So just like that and then we're going to do four singles crochets across so one make sure you're going through both sides underneath the V's two three and four and then we're going to tie that off leaving a little bit of a tail because even though we are not sewing these on. I do use the strings to stabilize them a little bit at the end. So if you have just finished your first arm, I will put a timestamp in the next frame so you can go back and do your second arm. And if you are finished your second arm, just keep on watching and we will move on to the next part.
Okay, next we are going to do the legs. And you can begin any way you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I will be doing a knot with the loop on the end. As if we were going to make a chain, and I'll just insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. And remember, that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches our yarn to our loop and for row one we are going to do six single crochets into the loop one two three four five six Grab a stitch marker if you're using one and for row two we are going to do six increases so that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two, increase three and four, increase five and six, Increase, seven and eight. Increase, nine and 10. And our last increase, 11 and 12. Row three, we are gonna do one single crochet, one increase, Repeat that around for a total of 18. So one, then an increase for two and three, and repeat that all the way around. Four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, 10, increase 11 and 12, 13, increase 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase 17 and 18. Row four, we are gonna do two single crochets one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, and an increase, three and four. Repeat that around, so five, six, and your increase, seven and eight, nine, 10, increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24. Row five, we are gonna do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, increase, four and five, six, seven, eight, increase, nine and 10, 11, 12, 13, increase, 
14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, increase, 24 and 25. This should be our last set, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29, and 30. Row 6, we are going to do 30 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Row seven, we're going to do another row of 30 single crochets all the way around. And don't worry if it's starting to look big, it's going to curve down and it's going to fix itself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Row 8, we're going to do three single crochets one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five, six, seven, Decrease for eight, nine, ten, eleven. Decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Decrease for sixteen. 17, 18, 19, decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and our last decrease for 24. 
row nine, we are going to be doing eight decreases all in a row around the front. So we are going to do the invisible decrease. I will show you nice and slow on the first one. And then as I get going, I'll go back to my normal speed. So for row nine, we're going to do four single crochets. Then we're going to do eight invisible decreases. And then we'll have four single crochets on the end. Finish that off for a total of 16. So one single crochet, two, three, four. And then for the invisible decrease, you're going to go down under the front loop and you're going to come up through in between the V of the stitch. And then you're going to go and do that in the front loop of the next stitch. So you've got two front loops on your hook. You're going to grab your yarn, pull through those two front loops, leaving two loops on your hook, and then grab your yarn again and go through those two loops. And there's your invisible decrease. So that's one. Remember the front loops only of the next two stitches. That's two front loop. That's three. Another invisible decrease. That's four. Invisible decrease. That's five. Invisible decrease. That's six. Invisible decrease. That's seven. Invisible decrease. That's eight. And then we should have four single crochets left to finish off. One, two, three, four. Row 10 to 16, we are going to be doing 16 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to do those consecutively. So that's seven rows, seven times 16 is 112, I believe. So I'm going to do 112 single crochets and then flip my marker every time I hit a set of 16. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, so I'm flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, flipping my marker, but I'm going to keep on counting, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, flipping my marker, keep on counting. 
49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, flipping my marker, keep on counting, 97, 98, 99, 100, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Yay, my math was right. Row 17, we are going to do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. And row 18, we are just going to do 10 single crochets so that our toe ends up at the front. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10. And if you want to just double check, you just find your um, decreases, if you can, at the bottom of the foot. And your, your toes should be pointing up and your strings should be on the side. So when you fold them over, your toe will be kind of up here and the bottom of your foot will be down here. All right, so now let's add some stuffing. And I'm going to remove my stitch marker. And the best way I have found to do this is keep your um, bottom of your foot kind of flat against your palm with the toe facing up. 
and you're just going to add your stuffing in and kind of work it up towards the front of those toes. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of, when I get my finger down to the bottom, I'm kind of pushing it like this and then up towards the toes and you want to be very careful that you aren't stretching these stitches where you decreased. Especially if you're using a dark colored yarn. So just make that toe however you want it. And then once you have it, you just kind of put a little bit kind of in the bottom, depending on the shape you want. If you want it a more oblong, you'll do it like this. If you want it more rounder, you'll just kind of stuff it everywhere. So that's what mine's looking like right now. And then for the top of the foot, we just want to put enough in there so it keeps its shape, but it's not so thick that it's going to make your little bear fall over. So you want it to kind of come like this on an angle so his little tummy can kind of fit over his legs. And then once you are happy with the stuffing, we'll put our hook back in and we'll close that leg up. And we're gonna do six single crochets across and we don't quite have enough stitches. So we are gonna do um, two single crochets, then an increase and then two single crochets. So we have six single crochets across. So again, like the arm, you're gonna go in the next stitch and the last stitch under both sides of those V's. So one single crochet, another single crochet for two, and we're going to do an increase for three whoop, and four, and then two more single crochets. So five, and six and you want to avoid what I just did I was kind of catching my stuffing a little bit but you're not going to notice that too bad so I'm just going to leave that and then leave it a little bit of a tail I haven't figured out anything useful for this tail yet except that I will be tying it on the inside just to make them um, the end secure All right, so if you have finished your first leg, I will leave a screenshot over in the next frame so with a timestamp so you can go back and do your second leg. And if you are finished your second leg, just keep on watching and we will move on to the next part. All right, we're also gonna do the tail before we get started on the rest and Again, you can start any way you prefer. I will be doing the knot with the loop on the end, like I was going to be making a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. Remember that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we're gonna do six single crochets into the loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one, and for row two we are going to do one single crochet one increase repeat that around for a total of nine so one single crochet increase two and three 
another single crochet, four, increase, five, and six. Single crochet, seven, and an increase, eight, and nine. Row three, we're going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that around for a total of 12. So one, two, increase, three, and four, five, six, increase, Seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve. In row four, we're going to do two single crochets, one decrease, repeat that around for a total of nine. One, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine. And then now we're going to fold it in half and we want to put four single crochets across. So one, or insert in the next stitch, insert in the very last stitch, and then we're going to do four single crochets across. One, two, three, and then just in that very end there, four. And again, we don't need much of a tail. We're probably just flipping this on the inside because we'll be sewing this on as we go. So we'll just give that a cut and put that to the side for now. All right, now we are going to start on the head, and again, you can begin any way you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'll be doing my knot with the loop on the end, like I'm going to be making a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. Remember that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into the loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four, increase five and six, increase seven and eight, increase nine and ten, increase eleven and twelve. Row three, we are going to do one single crochet, 
one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two and three. Four, increase, five and six. Seven, increase, eight and nine. 10, increase, 11 and 12. 13, increase, 14 and 15. 16, increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we are going to do two single crochets one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, and an increase, three and four. And repeat that around. Five, six, increase, seven and eight. Nine, 10, increase, 11 and 12. 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16. 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24. Row five, we are gonna do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, increase, four and five. Six, seven, eight, increase, nine and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, Increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22, 23. Increase, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28. Increase, 29 and 30. Row six, we are going to do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, and an increase, five and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, increase, seventeen and eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, increase, 29 and 30, 
31, 32, 33, 34, increase, 35, and 36. Row 7, we are going to do 5 single crochets, 1 increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and an increase, 6, and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and an increase, 13 and 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, increase, 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, increase, 27 and 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, increase, 34 and 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, increase, 41 and 42. Now we're going to do a couple of big chunks of repeat rows in the head and I have yet to decide if I'm going to fast forward through them or not. So for the time being, while I make it, I'm going to use my row counter to keep track of all the rows. Um, and if I do decide to fast forward, I will put a little warning at the top um, that it's going to happen and a timestamp at to where it's going to end and go back to um, joining me. All right, so for rows 8 to 12, we are just going to do 42 single crochets all the way around, and that'll be five rows. So row 8, 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row eight. Row 9, another row of 42 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. So that was row nine. Row 10, another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. So that was row ten. Row eleven, another row of forty-two single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, 
39, 40, 41, 42. So that was row 11. Row 12, another row of 42 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. Well, that was row 12. Row 13, we are going to do six single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 48. One, two, three, four, five, Six and an increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and an increase, fifteen and sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and an increase, 31 and 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, increase, 39 and 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, increase, 47 and 48. I'm going to be doing this row a little bit differently because I've already started it two times. Um, once I get past multiples of seven, I'm a little iffy on getting the increases on the right spot. So this time I'm going to do um, the repeats over and over, um, one to nine, instead of um, counting all the way to 54. So for row 14, we're going to do seven single crochets, one increase, which is a total of nine stitches. Um, and once we're done, we'll have 54 stitches. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an increase, eight and nine. So now I'm just going to start over at one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an increase, eight and nine. Starting at one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, increase, eight and nine. Starting at one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, increase, eight and nine. Starting at one again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an increase, eight and nine. Oh, I'm not used to doing it this way. Okay, starting at one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, increase, eight and nine. Rows 15 to 19 are going to be 54 single crochets. And again, if I decide to fast forward, I will put that up top with a timestamp to where I'm joining you back. Um, so that's going to be five rows of 54. So for row 15, 54 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 
54. And I'm going to use my row counter again. So that was row 15. Row 16, another row of 54 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So that was row 16. Row 17, another row of 54 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and that was row 17. Row 18, another row of 54 single crochets. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. So that was row 18. Row 19, another row of 54 single crochets. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54. And that was row 19. Okay. Row 
20, we are going to do seven single crochets, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 48. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. And remember, if you want to do invisible decreases, feel free to do those instead. Um, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and a decrease for 32, 33, oops, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and a decrease for 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, and a decrease for 48. Row 21 is going to be six single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a decrease. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and a decrease for fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, and a decrease for 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and a decrease for 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and a decrease for 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, or decrease, sorry, for 42. Row 
22, we are going to do five single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease for six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And a decrease for 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and a decrease for 36. Row 23, we are going to do oops, four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and a decrease for ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Row 24, we are going to do three single crochets, a one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, and a decrease for four, five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, oops, that was a long one, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Row 25, we are going to add the arm. So we are going to do four single crochets. Then we're going to do four single crochets through the arm and the head. Then we'll do eight single crochets across the front. Then four single crochets through the second arm and head. And then we'll finish off with four single crochets for a total of 24. So we'll begin with four single crochets. One, two, three, four. And grab your first arm. And this is your back. So you want to make sure everything's facing the front. So you want your string and your thumb to be facing the front. And we're going to do four single crochets to the arm and the head. So in that first single crochet of the arm and the next single crochet of the head. So that's one and make sure you're going through both sides. Through the arm, through the next stitch of the head. That's two. Through the arm, through the next stitch of the head. That's three. Through the arm, and the next stitch of the head. That's four. Then we're going to do eight single crochets across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're going to grab your second arm. Again, make sure your string and your thumb is pointing to the front. And you're going to do four single crochets through the arm and the next stitch on the head. So that's one through the arm and the next stitch of the head. That's two through the arm and the next stitch of the head. That's three through the arm and the next stitch of the head, that's four. And you should have four single crochets left. One, two, three, four. Row 26, we are going to do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. So one, two, three, and an increase, four, and five. And then repeat that around, six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and an increase, 
14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19 and 20. And I forgot to mention, make sure these strings are staying on the outside because that's where we'll need them for later. 21, 22, 23, and an increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. Row 27, we are just going to do 30 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, whoop, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Row 28, we are going to do four single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. 1, 2, 3, Four, and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 30. Six. Row 29, we are going to do five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. One, two, three, four, 
five and an increase, six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and an increase, thirteen and fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and an increase, 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and an increase, 27 and 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and an increase, 34 and 35. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and an increase, 41 and 42. Row 30, we are going to do six single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 48. One, two, three, four, five, six, and an increase, seven and eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and an increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and an increase, 31 and 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and an increase, 39 and 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, and an increase, 47 and 48. Let's maybe put our eyes on now before we get too far. Um, so you want to make sure your little man is centered, or your little bear, I guess. They're nice and flat and centered. And we are going to count down from this top center loop where we started, and we want to go to between rows 12 and 13. So this is row one. Two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So right there in between rows 12 and 13. And then you want to find the center. So I usually use the arms to kind of gauge that. Um, I just count over the holes here until I get to about the middle. And then I want to come straight up. And it looks like I'm pretty close with this pin. So I'm just going to go in a stitch. Right where I feel like the center is. And if I go all the way up from the bottom to the, to the loop here. It's in a fairly straight line, so I'm going to keep that as my center. And you're going to grab your eyes, and you want to count over four holes from where that center pin is right there. So just beside the pin, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to stick that eye right in there. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side just in the hole right beside the pin one two three four and in that fourth hole I'll remove my pin just double check that it looks centered to you um mine might not look centered in the camera but that's because my my um camera is actually over here instead of in the middle so it kind of gives a bit of a cockeyed look but when I look at it not through the camera that is perfect to me so if you are happy with how the eyes are you're gonna put your backs on give it a good squish there listen for them clicks the other side. Listen for those clicks. I think I clicked my wrist at the same time there. Okay. Now if you want to add a little stuffing you can. I have to wait till almost the very end because I cannot fit this guy barely already in my camera view. And then if you're ready to continue, we'll just insert our hook back in. Rows 31 to 39 is going to be 48 single crochets all the way around. And that is nine rows. So I'm definitely getting my stitch marker out. Okay, so row 31. 48 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 
40, 41, 42, 43, oops, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So that was row 31. Row 32. 48 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So that was row 32. Row 33, 42 single crochets all the way around. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 
43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So that was row 33. Row 34, 48, single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So that was row 34. Row 35, 48 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, <clears throat> excuse me, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 
48. So that was row 35. Row 36 on another row of 48 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight. So that was row thirty-six. Row thirty-seven. 48 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, <clears throat> excuse me, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, Forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, 
47, 48. And that was row 37, row 38, 48 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So that was row 38. Row 39, 48 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, <clears throat> excuse me, 47, 48. And that was row 39. 
All right, we're gonna add the tail on this row. So grab your tail and don't forget, I can't stuff mine until at least after I have the legs on, but it's way easier to be stuffing it now as we go than to wait and do it when I um, do the full stuff at the end. All right, so I am pretty much just a ways off center. So my tail is going to start right here um, because that's as close enough to center as I need it. But if you um, are in a different spot or if you're doing it left-handed and your stitch marker is over on this side, However um, it ends up, you just want to have your tail fairly centered and then don't worry about your stitch count. It's just going to be four single crochets into the tail and then 44 single crochets split up however you need to split them up. So we're going to lay our tail flat against our um, bear. And I'm going to go right into the tail to begin with. Four single crochets. So one through the tail, through the next stitch of the body. Through the tail and the next stitch of the body. That's two. Through the tail and the next stitch of the body. That's three through the tail and the next stitch of the body. That's four. And then if you're where I am right now, we're going to have 44 single crochets left to go around. And I'm going to just start at four and keep on counting for a total of 48. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, Thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight. row 41 we are going to be doing six single crochets one decrease repeat that all the way around for a total of 42 and then just make sure your tail string is on the inside one two three Four, five, six, and a decrease, four, seven. 
And a decrease for 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and a decrease for 21. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and a decrease for 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and a decrease for 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and a decrease for 42. Row 42, we are going to be doing five single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and a decrease for 36. Row 43, we are going to be doing four single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, four, and a decrease for five. Six, seven, 
eight, nine, and a decrease for 10. I don't even know how to hold this guy here. Um, okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, and a decrease for 15. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and a decrease for twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. And a decrease for 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and a decrease for 30. Okay, we have one more row before we add the legs. Row 44, we're going to do three single crochets, a one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. Sorry, I just can't reach very good here. So one, two, three, and a decrease for four. Five. Six. Seven. And a decrease for eight. Nine. Ten. 11 and a decrease for 12, 13, 14, 15, and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. All right, I'm just gonna quickly show you how to center your legs just in case you're not in the same spot as me. And um, my pattern that I wrote for the first guy I made, I can tell is already off by one stitch. So I'm just gonna thread my darning needle so I can mark my first leg and I'm going to be starting on this side because I'm crocheting around this way and my first leg is going to start over here. If you're doing this left-handed um, and you're going this way, I believe you're going to count from this way and it'll be opposite of whatever um, stitches we have if we're all in the same spot. So what you want to do is you fold him in half so he's nice and centered. And we want to have 12 stitches on the top and 12 stitches on the bottom. So I'm going to start at this corner right, um, right here. And remember, if you're left-handed, you're probably starting on this side. And I'm just going to count 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that is where my first 
stitch of my first leg is going to go in. It should be eight, but I think mine's gonna be nine. So don't worry if your count is different than mine, as long as your legs are centered in the front. Okay, so let's get our hook back in. And um, my pattern, which will be different probably for all of us, is going to be eight single crochets. Um, and then we're gonna do six single crochets through the leg and the body, six single crochets through the second leg and the body, and then we should have about four single crochets left at the end, depending on where we had to adjust on this side. So um, we're just gonna start counting single crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and there. See, I have nine. My first um, leg stitch is going to go where I marked. Yours might be different than mine. Again, don't worry about that. Grab your first leg and you want to make sure that the toes, I can't get this in here, the toes are pointing towards the body because when we flip them upside down, you want those toes pointed up. And I apologize, this is going to be so awkward. I can't even barely reach this. Okay, so six single crochets through the leg and the next stitch of the body. So that's one. Through the leg, next stitch of the body. That's two, so it's just like we did the arms. Through the leg and the next stitch of the body. Sorry guys, that's three through the leg, the next stitch of the body, that's four through the leg, and the next stitch of the body, that's five, and through the leg, and the next stitch of the body, that's six. And then flip these um, leg tails to the inside. We'll tie them um, after we're done this row. So now you're going to grab your next leg, your second leg again. Remember, you want the toes pointing oops, down towards the body. And six single crochets through the leg and the next stitch of the body. Come on, hands work. I might have to redo this row off camera. We'll see. So that's one through the leg, through the next stitch of the body that's two through the leg, the next stitch of the body. That's three through the leg, and the next stitch of the body. That's four through the leg, the next stitch of the body. That's five and through the leg and the next stitch of the body. So now because I had to adjust my um, stitches, I should have three single crochets here instead of what I usually have four. One, two, 
three. Oops, I didn't put that tail inside. You, I'm gonna um, deal with that right now. So if you forgot to flip your one last leg string in, all you're gonna do is thread your needle and we'll just put it in underneath the same stitch that it would have been in had we flipped it. And then we're just gonna tie those loosely. You don't want any tension on them because you don't want to bring your legs too tight together. So just so they're secure and those ends won't come out, but they're not gonna pull your legs. All right, we only have three rows left, so we might as well put the majority of our stuffing in now. So when you did the top, or if you still have the top left, you want the head to be really firm. So you're going to have a lot of stuffing in there. You want to get it pushed up nice and tight up at the top. And then you want to push out on these sides to emphasize that, um, that shape. I didn't really use my stitches to shape it. I just kind of made a, a bigger space there all the way around. And be careful not to stretch your stitches by your neck. So a good way to help that is kind of hold around the neck as you're pushing your pieces in. So see how I push that one side way out? Now I'm gonna do that on the other side. I kind of want his head to be long and out around the cheeks a bit. This might take me a minute. Um, and then if you're finished your head, you don't need quite as much in the body. Just enough to let it keep his shape. Well, that is quite a bit. I think that's good. And you can kind of shape it with your fingers as well on the outside. Just try and make sure it's not too lumpy. I think I've overstuffed mine a tad. But I'd rather have it a bit on the overstuffed side than understuffed. So now I'm just filling the tummy. He does take a surprisingly large amount of stuffing. If you plan on selling this, remember that when you're uh, pricing it out. <laughs> Depending on how pricey your stuffing is. So I think I'm gonna leave mine about like that for now so I can close mine up. Because it's already way at the top of my screen but there like he's starting to get his shape now so let's see how i make out with this let's get our hook back in and i apologize if i go out of shot here in the camera I have to squish him down pretty good just to get in there. But the last three rows are pretty simple. If you've gotten this far with me, just uh, seeing the instructions at the top of the screen, you'll know exactly what you need to do. Row 46, you're going to do two single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. 
So one, two, and a decrease for three. Four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine. Ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, and a decrease for fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And a decrease for 18. Row 47, you're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. One. And a decrease for two, three, and a decrease for four. Up, grab my stuff in there. Five, and a decrease for six. Seven and a decrease for eight, nine, and a decrease for twelve, or sorry, ten. Eleven. and a decrease for 12. And we're gonna do our last row next. So if you need to add any more stuffing to the tummy, do that now. So I just added a little bit more stuffing. Um, maybe before you finish the last row, just double check that he sits. Um, He's not going to topple over because you have too much in the front. And if you are happy with how he's looking, let's do our last row. All right, so for row 48, we're just going to do six decreases all the way around. So one, two decreases, three decreases, four, 
four decreases. Five decreases. And six decreases. Oh, come on. <laughs> I know you guys always ask me about making these bigger. This is why I kind of keep to the smaller side. It's such a hard time keeping everything in. Like, this is a workout for me today, these last four or five rows. All right, so that's six decreases. And then I'm just going to slip stitch in the next stitch and tie that off, leaving enough of a tail to sew this closed. I'm going to take my stitch marker out as well. And then get out to my needle. And all we're going to do is weave back and forth on the top loop of the last row we just did. So it should be about five or six times. And then once you're all the way around, you're just going to give that a pull and tighten that up nice and tight. And then just go into the next stitch or right close. And then you're just going to tie a knot. And then just put that in nice and close to where you tied it and out the back somewhere. that a little cut and then we'll put his arm strings in as well so take one of your arm tails and you're just going to put it in right where your last stitch and that knot is. And you're going to bring it out the back somewhere in the center of the neckline. And then do that for the other side as well. right where the last stitch and your knot was. And then you're going to bring that out the same hole that you brought your other string out. So we're both coming out of the same hole in the back. Then you're going to give them one tie. Keep track of your two string ends. I wrap them around the neck and then just flip them over. And now all you're going to do is pull and these knots should go inside and kind of bring his arms forward a bit. Just pull until you're happy with where they are. Keep in mind they will relax a little bit um, as time goes on because they, you aren't tying them straight across. And then once you're happy, you're just going to tie that a couple of times and then thread those ends inside and out the back somewhere.
So go right in that same hole where you came out and then just hide them on the inside. Whoopsie. Well, I guess I did pretty good. It didn't fall off while I was doing rows. That's amazing. All right. Just check that you don't need to fix any stitches there. And now we are ready to start adding all the little parts that's going to make him cuten up a bit. All right, now we are going to start the ears. And again, you can begin any way you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I'll be doing the knot with the loop on the end, like I was going to start a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. Remember, that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we're going to put eight single crochets into the loop over top of the tail. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then pull that tail if you need to, to close that hole in the center. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are gonna do eight increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 16. So increase. One and two, increase, three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten, Increase, 11 and 12. Increase, 13 and 14. And our last increase, 15 and 16. Row three, we are just gonna do 16 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16. Row four, we're gonna do 16 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Row five, 16 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 
14, 15, 16. And now I'm going to take my stitch marker out and we're just going to fold it in half and stitch straight across. So in the first or the next stitch and in the last stitch, just like we did the arms and the legs. So seven single crochets across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we'll tie that off, leaving enough of a tail to sew that on. So if you have just finished your first ear, I will put a screenshot with a timestamp over in the next frame so you can go back and do your second ear. And if you are done your second ear, just keep on watching and we will move on to the next part. Now we are going to start um, the muzzle. And again, you can start any way you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I will be doing the knot with the loop on the end. As if I was going to be making a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, chain one. Remember, that does not count as a stitch. That just attaches our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are going to put six single crochets into the loop going over our tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then pull your tail if you need to close that hole. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 12. So increase one and two. Increase three and four. Increase five and six. Increase seven and eight. Increase nine and ten. And our last increase, eleven and twelve. Row three, we are going to do one single crochet. One increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two, and three. Four, increase, five, and six. Seven, increase, eight, and nine. 10, increase, 11 and 12, 13, increase, 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. Row four, we are going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, increase, three and four, five, six, increase, seven and eight. Nine, ten, 
increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our last increase, 23 and 24. Row 5, we are going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row 6, we're going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And then we're just going to slip stitch into the next stitch and tie that off, leaving enough of a tail to sew around. All right, now we are gonna do the little heart for his nose. I'm not 100% sure if you can use the magic circle for this. We're going to be putting about 17 stitches into our ring. So it's going to kind of depend on your experience and if you've done anything like that before. I will be making my knot with the loop on the end as if I was going to be making a chain. We might need a little bit bigger size for this one. And we are gonna start, um, grab our yarn and we're gonna chain one. And then we're gonna do three half double crochets. So a half double crochet is basically the same as a single crochet, only you yarn over first. So we yarn over in your loop, grab your yarn, come up, grab your yarn again, and then go through all three loops. So we got to do three of those. So that's one, two, and three. Now we're going to do three single crochets. One, two, three. Remember, this is all in the same loop. Now we're going to chain one. 
We're going to do one half double crochet. So remember, yarn over. And now we're going to do the exact same thing in reverse to finish off the other half of our heart. So we're going to chain one. We're going to do three single crochets. One. Two. Three. And now we're going to do three half double crochets. One. Two, three, and then we're going to chain one and slip stitch down in the center there. And we want to kind of make sure that's nice and tight. I try and get mine to go in the back if I can, and then tie off. Um, leave quite a bit of. Um, thread because not only are we going to sew this onto the nose, but we're going to use it to make the mouth as well. And then if you can, pull your tail and try and close that little hole in the center. All right, now we're going to do the eyelids, and this was just kind of a fun little addition I thought I would add. I'm not sure if it makes it better or worse because it kind of hides the eyes. But I'm going to start with my knot with the loop on the end. And we're just going to be going in the loop again like we did for the heart. You grab your yarn. Oops. Something, something's grabbing there. Um, I don't have a chain one written down, but we better chain one. And then we are going to do six half double crochets into the loop. So remember, it's yarn over. Insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up, grab your yarn, and go through all three loops. So that's one, two, chain one and we're going to do three single crochets across so we're kind of going to go in our half double crochet in our center in our half double crochet and then slip stitch on the side so three single crochets across one two three And then a slip stitch. I'm going in that same stitch, I think. Um, if you have a better way to make this sh shape, um, feel free to give it a go. I just kind of played around once or twice and got a good enough shape for me and then left it. And then I'm going to close this, pull the tail, close it, and cut that so it's not in our way later. And I think I'm just going to put this video in twice that I just finished. So just keep on watching in order to do your second eyelid. All right, now we're going to do the eyelids. And this was just kind of a fun little addition I thought I would add. I'm not sure if it makes it better or worse because it kind of hides the eyes. But I'm going to start with my knot with the loop on the end and we're just going to be going in the loop again like we did for the heart you grab your yarn Oops. something I got, something's grabbing there um i don't 
have a chain one written down, but we better chain one. And then we are going to do six half double crochets into the loop. So remember it's yarn over, insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull up, grab your yarn and go through all three loops. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to chain one, and we're going to do three single crochets across, so we're kind of going to go in our half double crochet, in our center, in our half double crochet, and then slip stitch on the side. So three single crochets across, one, two, three, and then a slip stitch. I'm going in that same stitch, I think. Um, if you have a better way to make this sh shape, um, feel free to give it a go. I just kind of played around once or twice and got a good enough shape for me and then left it. And then I'm going to close this, pull the tail, close it, and cut that so it's not in our way later. All right, now we are going to do the tummy patch and you can start any way you prefer as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. I will be doing the knot with the loop on the end like I was going to make a chain. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, Chain one, remember that does not count as a stitch, that just attaches our yarn to our loop. And for row one, we are going to do six single crochets into the loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull that tail if you need to and grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do six increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around. So increase one and two. Increase, three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten, and our last increase, eleven and twelve. Row three, we are going to do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. One, increase, two and three. Four, increase, five and six. Seven, increase, Eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, and our last increase, seventeen and eighteen. Row four, we are going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, 
2, increase, 3 and 4, 5, 6, increase, 7 and 8, 9, 10, increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our last increase, 23 and 24. Row five, we are going to do three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five. Six, seven, eight, increase, nine and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, increase, fourteen and fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, 18, increase, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, increase, 24 and 25, 26, 27, 28, and our last increase, 29 and 30. Row 6, we are going to do 4 single crochets, 1 increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, and an increase. 5 and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and an increase, 11 and 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, and an increase, 29 and 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, and an increase, 35 and 36. Row seven, I'm gonna do my increases backwards and my brain does not really work that way. So if I make a mistake, I'm just gonna start going in sets of seven. And what this will do is kind of get rid of these pointy edges and make it a little more circular. So increase, oh, sorry. So for row seven, we're gonna do one increase and then five single crochets. Repeat that around for a total of 42. So increase, one and two, and then five single crochets. Three, four, five, 
six, seven. Increase, eight and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Increase, fifteen and sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Increase, twenty-two and twenty-three, twenty-four, 25, 26, 27, 28. Increase, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. Increase, 36 and 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Now this is where I'm ending mine, so I'm going to slip stitch and tie off. Um, my leaf was a little bit big for this, so I squished it down a bit. If you want to go one more round, um, measure this on your little guy's tummy and then just see how it looks. If, and then if you want to go one more round, round eight will be six single crochets, one increase for a total of 48. But I'm stopping right here. So I'm just going to, whoop, I guess I better tie that off. And then when you're done, leave enough yarn to sew that around. All right, we're gonna start on the leaf and I just dawned on me another thing you could do is go down a hook size um, but because I've already done my intro with the 4.25 as the only hook I'm using um, the next if you're sitting there and you have a smaller hook right beside you maybe grab that my next size down is a 3.75 so we're gonna make a knot with a loop on the end all of our stitches are gonna end up in the center of this loop And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's going to be at least eight slip stitches in this loop. And we're going to start by grabbing our yarn and chaining three. One, two, three. And then in this second chain from the hook, we're going to do a slip stitch, a slip stitch in the next chain, and then a slip stitch in the loop. So two slip stitches in our chain, one, two, and then a slip stitch in our loop. And now we're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna do two slip stitches starting in that second chain one two and then we're going to do two single crochets one two and then we're going to slip stitch in our loop sorry it's a little tricky for me to hold this in the camera um, row three, we're going to chain, or leaf three, we're going to chain seven, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. We're going to do two slip stitches in the second chain from the hook. One, two. We're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to slip stitch in our loop. Make sure you're going over your tail because there will be a little bit of a hole left there. Okay, leaf four, we're going to chain nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to do two slip stitches in the sec starting in the second chain. One, two, and we're going to do six single crochets. One, two, whoops, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to slip stitch into our loop. Um, leaf five. We're just gonna go backwards now. So we're chaining five. One, two, three, four, five. Hold on. No, we're chaining seven, sorry. Six, seven. Then we're gonna do two slip stitches in the starting in the second chain. One, two, then we're going to do four single crochets, one, two, three, four, and we're going to slip stitch in our, our loop there. All right, are we on leaf six? We're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do our two slip stitches. One, two, and then we're going to do two single crochets. One, two, and then we're going to slip stitch. Try and make sure you're still going over your tail in that loop. And our seventh little leaf, we're going to chain three. One, two, three, and then we're going to do two slip stitches in the chain and a third slip stitch in our loop. And now I'm just going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and that's our little stem. And then I'm just going to tie it off right there. Um, leave quite a bit of yarn for sewing that on. And I know there's probably better ones out there. I just played around with chains. If you have a better one, please feel free to use it because I know this, I didn't put a lot of thought in this one. So I'm going to pull my tail, try and close that hole a bit, and then I'll probably weave this end in. And there's our kind of leaf shape. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let's just try and weave that in a bit. I did not um, really think this one through with the length of my tail, but if you do do a second one, um, leave yourself a bit of a longer tail when you make your beginning loop because I'm, I'm going to have to 
re-thread my needle every time. So I'm just going to go back and forth a couple of times in my um, center of my leaf here. It already looks better. I'm just going to do the two times and then I'm going to cut that so it's out of the way. Okay. I think we got all our parts made and we are ready to start putting them together. Okay, now we're going to sew the little heart onto the muzzle. So let's get our darning needle and our pins. And we want to have this on the bottom and line up the point of our heart with the hole on the nose. And just kind of have a look that it's straight to you. And then start pinning. So I'm going to put one down in the bottom. One at the top of my heart. It helps if you can kind of get them out. Once you feel like you have that secured, we'll thread our needle and we're just going to go down underneath. Make sure you keep um, your yarn, your green yarn underneath of your heart so you don't see your stitches. And you're just going to go up and down through every stitch. When you come up, make sure that you're not coming up in the same spot. You don't want to be coming up here. You want to make sure you're one stitch over. When you get to this point, you can kind of try and make it a little point here by just going around it. And just keep an eye on whether you are um, keeping your line straight here. Oops. Whoopsie. Not sure how I did that. One more. 
more time up. Okay, and when you got your last one, you're going to come up through this center. And you want to make sure you're coming straight down from your heart. And about halfway down, you're going to go in. And that's going to be um, where you line up the rest of your mouth. So it's kind of up to you what, what kind of a frown or a shape you want to give them. But I'm going to go in um, one row up. And then I'm going to go in where I ended on the last one. And now we've got to match this over to this side. I'm going to try right there. And that looks good enough for me. So I'm going to go in there. And then I'm just going to tie these together. So the, t the beginning tail of my muzzle in the white and then the yarn I've been working with just now. And then we'll cut off the green. Now we're going to just grab a little bit of stuffing and we're just going to fill that inside of the nose and we can add a little bit more um, if you don't have enough right now but we just want to have enough that puffs it out while we're sewing and pinning. So we're going to line that up right on the row um, right around where the eyes are ending, the bottom of the eyes. So I'm going to go up one row from the bottom. So if this is the bottom of my eyes, I'm up on this row one, one up. Make sure your mouth is straight and then we're going to start pinning. So I start by putting one right in the center and then where it falls naturally kind of on the bottom. I want that stuffing to be on the inside. And then I'm going to put some on each side. And just keep attention to where everything is kind of falling, that it's staying straight. I might just put something right in the center there to hold that. so that you guys can see better without my thumb right there. And I'm just going to keep pinning around and around just about every stitch probably. The more pins you put in, the less chance that that mouth is going to move on you. Okay, and then just have a look. I feel like this one could come a touch higher on this side, so I'm going to add one more pin. And then 
when you're happy with it. Thread your needle on. I don't know how I'm going to show this so you guys can see. When you begin, you're going to come down underneath the white and come, oh, that darn stuffing, go around one stitch of the green, so on the head. And then you're going to come up right up the next stitch. And you're just going to go around like that, down the next stitch, around a row. Up the next stitch. Make sure you're getting both of the sides of that stitch. Down the next one. around a stitch up the next stitch down and around a row or a stitch however it was working out for you and you're just going to keep going around like that making sure that you're staying underneath so that you don't see the white stitching. When you get to the top, kind of keep your stitches in the line of the row that you started on. And that will help keep those stitches straight. We're getting close to the end here. If you need to add stuffing, now's when you will want to do it. So let me just see. I did add more on my first one. I guess just so you can see how I do it, I'll add a little bit of stuffing right now. So I'm going to have to take one pin out which gives me a little bit of a hole here. And then I can just slowly push some stuffing in. This is in my way. There we go. And as you're doing that, make sure your nose isn't moving. I'm holding over here against it so that it can't move around. It shouldn't, but And you're going to tighten those stitches back up. 
re-put your pins back in if you need to. Check that it's still even and see that it's not even here. So we got to pull that out a little bit. That should be okay. And then you can finish going around. And then when you get back to where you started, oops, sorry, my hands are really in the way here. Just gonna kinda come up and around and back. And then you wanna come under and find one of your threads so, oh, so you can see them over here, but you want to have one that's nice and close. So I'm going to grab this one and that's where I'm going to tie my knot. And then I'm going to put that down inside so I can hide it and out the back somewhere. Hold on to cut. Next we're going to do the ears. All right, for the ears, the first thing we want to do is mark where we're going to put them. So we're going to be using this center stitch here, our starting loop, and um, where we have our arms placed. So kind of a vertical line straight down. So I'm going to take a pin and I want to mark between my third and fourth row. So this is my first row, this one right here, one two, three, so right between rows three and four. That's where my ear is gonna start. And then I wanna do evenly on the other side between rows three and four. So one, two, three, so right in the boat there. And just have a look that they seem like they're even. And if you think they are, we're gonna put another pin seven rows down. So our first Stitch is going to go right where our pin is. And then we're, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the row our ear is going to end on. And you want to make sure they're kind of going straight down and do the same thing on the other side. Our pin is in our first, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This one might have to go back one. We'll see. And 
Now thread the end of your ear onto your darning needle. And your first stitch is going to come down behind the pin and around that first stitch in that row. And then you're going to go in the first stitch of your ear. And you're going to slowly go down around a stitch in every row and a stitch in every um, stitch in your ear. So down a row, around a stitch, and then through the next stitch in your ear. Down one more row, around a stitch, then in the next stitch of your ear, and make sure you're staying in line with this pin. Down another row, in the next stitch of your ear, down another row, in the next stitch of your ear. Down another row, in the next stitch of your ear, and this should be our last row where our pin is. So you're going to go around that row, I might come up one here, and then in that last seventh stitch, and if you want you can go around that one one more time. And then I come up one stitch. And then you're just going to tie that in the back, nice and close to your ear. down right beside your ear and come out somewhere kind of even with where you are in the row, somewhere in the middle of the head. And now we got to do that for the other side. So grab your other ear and thread that on your needle. And we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. So you're going to come down and around this pin. There's your first stitch. And then you're going to go in the first stitch of the ear. You're going to go down a row and around the next stitch, through the next stitch of the ear, down the next row and around a stitch, through the next stitch of the ear, down a row and around the next stitch. Through the next stitch of the ear, down a row and around the next stitch, through the next stitch of the ear, down a row and around the next stitch, through the next stitch of the ear, and this is our last one because that's where our pin is. So you're going to go down and around that row. I'm just going to double check that they're in the same. I might. I brought the other one forward a stitch, so I'm going to bring this one forward one stitch too.
and then through that last stitch of the ear. And I went around that twice, so I'm going to go around this one twice. And then I went up one stitch. And then again, you're just going to tie that in the back. And you stitch nice and close. And then put it in and bring it out where you brought your other string out. I think I might have went through a thread there. That's not good. Now I'm going to do what I did with the arms here. I'm going to give them one tie. Keep track of my ends, spin him around, and then I'm going to pull him just to kind of give his head a bit of a shape that comes in like that. And it just kind of makes his cheeks puff out a little bit, and it will relax a bit also. So keep that in mind. If you think you've done it too much, oops, and now I'm just tying it. A couple of times to secure it. Sorry, I feel like I need three hands here. Uh, the way I'm doing this. Okay, then you're just going to bring that down and around and out through the head somewhere. do this if you have a metal needle if you have a plastic one you tend to break when you do this I'm just kind of pulling that back out oh, it looks really bad in the camera that's what happens if you don't come through a hole nice and clean I'm still undecided if he's getting his eyelids or not, so let's do his um, shaping of his between his eyes here right now. And there's two ways you can do it. I'm going to show you um, the way I'm going to do it. If you can get your thread behind the safety eyes. Um, if you can't do that or you're sewing your eyes on because you've made your own eyes, um, you're going to start the same way. So you're going to go down in the row and I'm going to come up careful if you painted your eyes that you don't scratch them I'm going to leave some thread on one side and I used to come down and go into this hole and over to this side but because I've learned lately that I can wrap my string around the eye and then I'm not pulling the stitches here. So I wrap the string around the eye before I go down into this hole right here. Then I want to come out and match that right here on the same, in the same hole on the other side of the eye. Sorry, I'm trying to do it left-handed and it's not working. I'm going to turn him around here. So if you can't get around the eye like I'm about to do, you're going to come up into this stitch. But I'm going to go around the eye first and then go into that stitch. And that just keeps um, from these stitches pulling or making a little hole there. And then we're just going to tie them one time. And we're just going to pull, 
tie that knot careful not to break your string um, you may need to push them in a bit with your own thumbs decide whereabouts you want them I think that's definitely close enough it might relax a little bit I'm not sure and then you're just going to thread that end out and back in that same hole and then out the back while we're doing this part I'm able to get my needle but if you have a hard time pulling your needle out when you're going through the whole head I have received a tip about using um, latex or a rubber glove and putting it on your needle or around your finger and pulling I haven't had a chance to try it yet but I can see that being a really good way to get a grip on your needle all right yeah that looks fine and then you for the tummy patch you're just going to want to pin your um leaf on so just kind of Get the points how you want them. One, two, three, four. I don't know, it doesn't seem even. Oh, I really turned that, didn't I? So you may need to play with this a little bit to get them how you want them. Then once you're happy with it, you're just going to thread your needle. You're going to begin by going up and down the chain you made for your stem You may have to just close this little hole here. And I just tacked it on. I didn't really sew it really good. Um, it's probably best if you went up and down each side of the leaf. I'm just going up and down the middle here somewhere. 
and then move on to the next leaf. I'm just going to move up to the center here so I can tie that off somewhere. And I'm just going to tie it to my beginning tail. Just lightly pinned everything else. You want to line it up nice and straight wherever you want it. And then I always start at the top. And then I go to the bottom. Then I do each side. And then I just start pinning randomly wherever I think I need to pin. I think I need new pins. I can feel them kind of snagging on the yarn now. Should be enough pins. Then you're just gonna thread your end on. And just like you did the mouth, you go down around a stitch. Come up your next stitch down your next stitch 
around a stitch. Up your next stitch. All the while making sure you're staying underneath um, the patch part so that you're not seeing your stitches. Just gonna do this all the way around. Oops, I think I just hit the ceiling. Whoops, almost went too far on that one.
Okay, we're getting almost back to where we started here. Boy, this guy's going to be so dizzy, all this twisting and turning. <laughs> so once you're back to the beginning, you're just going to come back down and find a stitch like we did when we did the muzzle. So there's one nice and handy right there. And then you just tie your knot. And then put that out the back. I'm going to add the little hairs now and all I did was take we got tons of scraps from making this so I just if you want to do the same color anyways I just took a bunch of scraps cut them about the same length I'm going to say maybe eight inches is what I ended up with here and you're just going to go down and around through the center of his head Try and grab all those in at once. Bring them through. And you're gonna have a loop here. Sorry, not watching what I'm doing. And then you're just gonna grab those pieces, pull them through, and then we're gonna tighten them. And then you can just decide if you need to trim those again, or if you're happy with the length, you probably need to trim, but we'll leave them like that for now. And I'm not sure still if I wanna put the eyelids on, so I'm gonna leave you guys do that on your own. But all I did was I pinned them on at an angle like this, and then I just sewed from one side around to the other side. And I didn't go, I didn't do anything um, right here where the eyeball was. I left that open. Okay, I think I'm going to leave you here. If you made it this far with me, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video, as well as any likes, shares, and comments are always appreciated. And as always, take care, be safe, and happy crocheting.